Oh, hey. Uh, you just caught me doing some of my taxes. I'm glad you stopped by. So this time, I continue going through my journey of learning the speedrun of Super Mario 64, and this time it was something a little bit less demanding than last time. I just had to get all of the red coins in the first Bowser level. So after trying the hardest trick, it still wasn't super easy, so... If you'd like to see more, feel free to follow me on twitch.tv slash rodscaden. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe or like it. However, if you didn't like the video, feel free to leave me a comment. I will definitely read it and respond to it. So with all that said, enjoy. What's the next trick? Speedrunner. What's the next trick? Okay, Bowser in the sky. I mean, Bowser and whatever. First battle. I want to believe that, but I know it's not true. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to end up doing this slowly. I do not have the... I don't have that dexterity to do that. Oh. I can do that. I can possibly... No, can't do that. Okay, so he's collecting all the coins. That's essentially what he's doing. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. I guess it's not much of a trick, it's just going through Bowser in the sky? Bowser in the dark world. Yeah, I got, got to do it pretty... Yeah, look at that! I'm gonna take it a little bit slower, but still try to still try to go kind of fast. This is just raw playing of this game. You just need to be good at playing the game, which is I guess I guess the first time I'm I'm getting to practice trying to be good at the game in a long time. Because up to now I was doing. As long as I get uh, both coins within the same, within the allotted time for that, for the timer, I'm good. That's the the thing I need to master in this first part, which should not be as hard as LBLJ. <laughs> I just need to play okay. <laughs> I guess I can take that, so I don't have to wait. Okay, 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 That's good, that's good. But how do they move the camera so well? Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm just gotta take this one slow. Alright, alright. Yeah. Now here, what do they do? That's a pretty precise jump. Blind. <laughs> Don't do it blind. <laughs> Woo! Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. From here, though, he goes. consistent in all these tricks, but I feel like the practice is gonna help me out. 
out with it just by playing it. Even if I'm not doing the specific tricks, I'm gonna be learning the mechanics that I kind of need to mm, be able to play, be able to succeed. Last coin. I thought I saw them grabbing it. Oh, there it is. Wow, that's a precise job. But honestly, what has always attracted me to speedrunning are kind of the skill. Not so much games like Final Fantasy VII, say. Where the speed run is much less about like mechanical skill, and it's much more about kind of getting it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's funny. But yeah, so games where you're you actually need to have like a what am I doing? Have a good ability of the game are my favorite. Like games to even just watch speedrunning. Those are far more interesting to me than again, say an RPG or something like that, where it's just more about the RNG manip manip manipulation. <laughs> Which is still cool, like, it's really cool how precise you have to be to figure out exactly what you need to... Get Whoa. But I think this feels and looks way cooler. Again, I, I might have picked the hardest, the hardest speedrun to do as my first speedrun ever. But... I thought I got it. I thought I had it there. Here we go! Sometimes I forget. Okay, no problem. Okay. Okay. I am terrible. That is one thing I know for sure. Is that. I am not good at Bowser. Like, I've never been. I'm horrible at Bowser. So this is just normal. 30 minutes to do that one. 